What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Today I'm putting down the vinyl plank flooring. Wow, am I going to be glad to not be walking on that? I can rub my feet on it already, and it feels so much better than that than that flake board did. <laughs> Anyhow, this stuff is a little bit confusing. There's so many different types of it now, but it's a pretty basic thing. Shelly thought we got the same kind that we put in the bus, but it has a different locking system. Um, so anyhow, let me show you where I'm at. I've almost got the bottom end done. I've got two more boards back there and I'll have the bottom done. And then it'll be time to go up here. I hope I can have the stamina to, to get that done up there too, because... <laughs> I'm tired of walking on all of it. And also, in front of the shower there where there's a stainless steel water shield, I can't caulk it until I get the floor down underneath it. So we have to be real careful and make sure the shower is in. And once we get that done, as long as the shower's in the gap, it'll be fine. So I'll be happy to have that resolved too. And the end of this cabinet's also going to be vinyl plank flooring. So I got a long way to go. It's almost time to have a cup of coffee, which... These days, I only allow myself coffee as a treat because I can get too amped up. I'm, I'm very sensitive to caffeine, so but on a day like today, an almond milk latte with a little vanilla sugar in it there, that'll be... Anyhow, I'll take you guys along. We'll see how far we get. Back in here, this was one of the areas that I was like, oh man, this one could be a little challenging, but I think... Use this little tool and just get in there and tap it over. So down here is kind of interesting because we've got storage underneath the floor back there. And I'm going to run this back in there far enough that when she drags the totes in and out, um, they're not getting caught on the edge of these. So, got one cut for each side. And I should be able to reach in there with this. I should be able to reach in there with the installation tool and snap those together. I hope. Okay, guys, I got the main floor all covered. And now we're going to go up that wall and hopefully we're going to use these tiles. It's the same snap together product. Man, the floor, it looks so good so far. And I'm especially pleased with the way that this entryway came out up here. You can see that entry and we went down underneath and everything. Anyhow, carpet's kind of covering it up, but uh, there. It just came out real nice. And we love the final plank, so we're going to cover this with, hopefully we're going to cover this with the tiles and both of those ends down there. And I've been in the milk barn up there um, I cut out the drawer fronts and routered the edges and uh, sanded them and I put some uh, varnish, some polyurethane on the drawer fronts. So should be able to get these drawer fronts on here pretty soon too. They need one more coat of finish. I'm going to try these tiles and see if I can get that wall covered with the tiles. Oh, it's time for a barbecue. Gonna have a little smoked brisket for dinner tonight. All right, it's been a long time coming, but we're finally getting the drawer faces on the cabinets. What a difference. And we got the first, uh, we put that fake tile on the end, floor tiles, vinyl floor tile on the end of the cabinet. We just need to come up with a piece of trim 
for that edge, which I think we're just going to use a little bit of aluminum. So it's looking good, huh, baby? Oh, yes. I am very pleased with how this is turning out. Better than I had ever hoped for. The rainy day is not going to stop me today. It's cold and blistery outside. It's hard to go out to do anything. But uh, I just put some paper towels up there and did it on the kitchen counter, which I know Shelly really appreciates that. <laughs> but we put this fake tile on. We really like the look of it. And I used uh, panel, like liquid nails, to stick it on there. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to hold it because uh, the back is a plastic foam stuff that, so I mean, it's held it, but I don't think it's a long-term solution. And I need to trim this side, so by putting this on here, I'm gonna basically trap all that over to the, uh, it's gonna hold it down if the glue fails is what I'm getting at. Sometimes if you run it backwards like that, you can establish the, there, that's what we wanted. Okay. This is going to look professional. It's going to look great. <laughs> and it, it's going to give... Okay, here we go. There. That looks cool. I can handle that. That one's got, they look a little angled, but I'm okay with it. Now I'm gonna go make some trim to put across here. Stuff on the back is, especially cause I ain't ever got no fingernails. It's hard to get that started. Oh, a bunder, huh? There. How cool is that going to be? And I even took the router and put a little bevel on mm -hmm. it so it kind of matches those. Wow. Ain't that amazing how one little piece of plastic changes something so much? It totally changed the whole look of that. It looks so finished now. It almost looks professional. Like we knew what we were doing. <laughs> okay, guys. So here's the piece I was talking about up here in the shower. And I was able to get that anchored down today. And I went in there and caulked that. So now as the shower curtain is down in that slot, everything's going to go out the drain instead of under the floor. So that's a good one to have done. So here's the trim piece on the end of the cabinet. I got that all done today and just continued it right on down to the floor in those spots. I got the other drawer faces on. I got these drawer faces on over here. I still got to make the doors and then I couldn't believe it. I have two more drawers down here that I forgot about. <laughs> So I gotta make those and come up with some kind of a design for the doors. We'll get to it. It's been really windy and drizzly rain outside all day today. So the other thing that happened was our window blinds came in. There you can see one right there. Let me flip the camera. So the window blinds came in and since it was a good day to work inside, I had enough time. I just went ahead and got these installed. So now we got the nice, man, it'll be so nice to sleep without the moon shining in my eyes tonight. Holy cow. <laughs> so we got all three of the window blinds in, ready to go. 
Well, all in all, it was a good day. I got quite a few little ends, loose ends tied up. Updating my computer right now. The wind's blowing really hard and the box is shaking. <laughs> it keeps Shelly awake at night. I'm, I've been able to just fall asleep with it. So she had to take a nap today because she was exhausted because she didn't sleep well last night. It's been two days of pretty heavy wind and, and then it added rainy drizzle today. Anyhow, that's all I got. Hope you guys are having an awesome time. I hope you have lots of love and joy in your life and lots of friends and family to share it with. Lots of love. Catch you guys in the next video.